Today's recipe is alu kheema pulao. For this, I have 475 grams of chicken kheema, which I've washed with room temperature water using turmeric powder. And then again, I re-rinsed it and I removed the water as much as I could from this chicken kheema. Here, I've got 400 grams of potatoes. I have cubed them. These potatoes are around two medium size. And I've also removed the skin. Here, I will be using... 300 grams of chopped onions which is around two medium sized onions here i've got three tablespoons of homemade garlic paste also known as lassan here i've got one tablespoon of ginger paste which is also homemade known as adrak here i've got pudina leaves also known as mint leaves these are around quarter cup here i've got two teaspoons of cumin seeds also known as zira here I will be using two cups of basmati rice which I have washed in room temperature water and soaked it for half an hour. I have also uh, made many videos on how to cook rice so I will leave the link uh, in the description box below. Here I have about quarter teaspoon of pepper powder also known as kali mirchika powder. Here I have got a mix of dhania zira powder which is about one teaspoon. Here I've got cardamom, which is around four, and I've got a one black cardamom as well. And here I've got four, uh, four cloves, and I will be using two small bay leaves in a stage patta. Here I've got uh, Kashmiri red chili, which is whole, which I'm using four. I've got red chili powder, which is around half teaspoon. You can use uh, as per your taste and liking. Here I've got half teaspoon of haldi powder also known as turmeric powder and this is an option now if you have curry powder you can use a teaspoon of curry powder if you have garam masala powder you can use a teaspoon of garam masala powder it's your choice here i have used curry powder for this recipe i also will be using uh, two tablespoons of coconut milk powder which i will add uh, when I will be cooking the rice and I will cook this entire recipe in uh, desi ghee here. I will be using one tablespoon of lemon juice and a tablespoon of white vinegar. To a hot pan, I will be adding some desi ghee and I'll wait for this ghee to melt. He has melted now. I'll just add half of the cumin seeds. This is around one teaspoon. So what I will be doing now is I will first fry the potatoes, cubed potatoes. Once the cubed potatoes get fried around uh, 80 to 90 percent, I will remove it from this ghee and keep it aside. And then I will continue making uh, the khima. Right now, I've just added the cumin seeds. Now I'll add the cubed potatoes. I'll cook these potatoes till they change in color a bit and like I mentioned earlier till they are cooked around 80 to 90 percent and while cooking these potatoes please be careful you can see the oil splashing right now my flame is on medium Occasionally stir the potatoes to avoid them from sticking to the bottom of this pot. Now what I will be doing once these potatoes are fried, I will remove it, keep it aside. I'll cover these potatoes and I will cook these on low to medium flame till they are about 90% ready. Let's check the potatoes if they are now ready to remove from this pot. So in total, they have been cooking since around 14 minutes, uh, say 13 to 14 minutes on a medium flame. Now at this point of time, you can see the potatoes look 90% uh, done. And this 
uh, further cooking will happen when I add the cooked keema and the raw rice. I will also add these potatoes and they will cook along with the pulao. So now I'll just remove them and keep them aside till I need to use them. To the potatoes, I will be adding some salt. I will be using the same pot to make the keema. For that, I will be adding around two tablespoons of ghee. And I let wait for the ghee to melt. I use I use this ghee for my cooking, and it's uh, it doesn't have any kind of uh, uh, fragrance or smell, so that's why I like using this ghee. I'll wait for this ghee to melt. While it's melting, first thing first is I will add in my cumin seeds. I will also be adding my cinnamon stick, some red chili, this is Kashmiri red chili, it's not spicy, a cardamom, black cardamoms, some cloves, I've got four cloves here and four uh, small cardamoms plus uh, I've got two small bay leaves. I'll just give this a quick saute, literally just for five seconds. And now at this point of time, I will be adding my chopped onions and I will fry them till they are translucent or transparent. And my flame is currently on medium. And uh, while the onions are cooking, uh, occasionally stir them till they are transparent or translucent. Onions look translucent. Now I will add in my garlic paste as well as my ginger paste and give it a quick stir. Let the ginger and garlic paste saute for around 30 seconds. Now I will add the chicken keema. Chicken is also known as uh, murgi. I will saute this till the color of the chicken changes. Once the color of the chicken keema changes, then I will add in all my masalas. So now I've increased my flame to medium to high. Continue cooking this till the original water from this chicken keema dries and also uh, occasionally stir while cooking this chicken keema. Occasionally stir the keema so that lumps don't form in this big lumps or chunks of keema. So you need to break it down while stirring it. And chicken keema cooks pretty fast. That's the reason I'm using it today. But if you have mutton keema like goat uh, keema, then it takes a bit longer time to cook. Continue cooking till this water from this keema dries out. Now we can see uh, the water is almost dried from this chicken keema and it's uh, been almost about seven to eight minutes and uh, my flame is on medium high so i'm going to decrease my flame to medium and now i will add in rest of the spices along with the salt the reason i don't add the masalas in the beginning is because i don't want the masalas to burn so i want the aromatic flavors of the masala to be mixed with the keema so just saute the masalas in the keema for another 30 seconds to a minute now at this point of time i will also be adding the white vinegar the reason i add uh, vinegar is so that if there's any kind of smell in this meat which won't be there because i washed it with turmeric powder 
but if there is in buying uh, if there is then i've added the vinegar so that also cuts uh, the smell from the meat and you won't get the smell if uh, you're a bit particular about uh, the meat that you cook now at this point of time it's already been 30 seconds i will be adding a cup of room temperature water and i will be cooking this keema on medium flame till it's done completely till it's 100 percent cooked now if i feel after the water dries out after this additional water dries out if i feel the keema is still not ready then i will be adding a little more water if required otherwise i am okay uh, with one cup of water for now so i will cover this and let it cook till it's done let's check on the chicken it's been around six to seven minutes you can see the water is almost drying off so i still feel the keema is not uh, ready just yet so i will be adding one more cup of room temperature water at this point of time and i will let this keema cook further till i feel it's done let's check on the keema and see if the water has dried out you can see there's still a little water remaining in this keema and now i will turn my flame to a little high medium to high let's check on the keema you can see the water is almost dried so i'll just turn my flame a bit uh, on high so medium and continuously stir till all the water in the schema dries and at this point of time also you can see whether it's fully cooked so i will be doing that right now I'm going to taste whether it's cooked before I continue making this recipe and when you're tasting it please be careful because it is very hot. It looks cooked, it tastes cooked and I'll just continue stirring it till I see the ghee leaving the sides of the keema or around the keema. While the keema is cooking, I will be preparing the coconut milk uh, for this recipe. So here I've got two tablespoons of coconut milk. I'll just pour it to this bowl. This is coconut milk powder actually. And if you have liquid coconut milk, that's that will also work for the recipe so i'll just add a little water for this recipe uh like i mentioned earlier i'm using two cups of basmati rice and for that i will be using four cups of room temperature water so i will be using the same four cups of room temperature water which i'm adding to this coconut milk so please do not add any additional water to this recipe so if you're using four cups of water just use that water to dissolve this coconut milk powder for the recipe. So I'm just slowly adding everything. Uh, I'm slowly adding the water to the coconut milk powder, trying to dissolve the powder. And this is what I will use while cooking my rice. Coconut milk powder is well dissolved with this water and I'll keep this aside and I will use it while um, cooking the rice. We bring the water out from this rice that has been soaking since half an hour. Now you can see the ghee has left the keema. So now what I'll do is I will I will be changing my spoon to continue cooking. Here I will be adding the potatoes that we fried earlier on. Give it a quick stir. So now we are going to make the final uh, keema pulao. At this point of time, I will also be adding the lemon juice, which is one tablespoon. 
Give it a quick stir. And you can also taste for salt. Now I just drain the water out from this rice. So I'll just pour this in as well. Now gently mix the alu kima with the rice before adding the water. My flame is right now on medium to high. Once I add in the water, I'll decrease my flame to medium. Just stir it carefully without uh, avoid breaking the rice grain. Now I'll add in my four cups of water. This is room temperature water and of the four cups i had used some water to make this coconut milk so in total it is four cups of water give it a quick stir now i'll decrease my flame to medium at this point of time i will be adding my chopped mint leaves if you have uh, cilantro or coriander leaves you could use that as well so give it a quick stir again and now at this point of time you can taste this water for salt so if you think the salt is less if the water doesn't taste salty or it's less then you can add salt as per your liking so i will be tasting this water and then accordingly i'll add my salt i just tasted the water and i think i need to add salt so at this point of time i will be adding around two teaspoons of salt as per uh, my liking either one and a half or two teaspoons need to add salt slowly or just taste as while you're adding because if the salt is not right in the recipe then you know it doesn't taste good the pulao after adding the salt i will be waiting for this uh, water to come to a rolling boil and then i will cover it and cook it till uh, this pulao is ready so first i'll wait for around five to seven minutes for the water to come to a boil on medium flame my gas mark is uh, five right now and once it comes to a nice rolling boil in about five minutes uh, to seven minutes depending on how fast or low your flame is then i will cover this pot and cook it for a further 22 minutes on gas mark four low to medium It's been uh, seven minutes now I'll just give it a quick stir before I cover it and let it cook I got this foil I'll be using this foil be very careful when you're covering it because the pot is hot so if you have oven gloves you can use oven gloves also while covering this uh, dish I'll just put it around and cover it carefully And at this point of time, I will also be turning the uh, flame on 4, gas mark 4, that's low to medium, a bit on the medium side. I will cover this and place something heavy on the lid and then I will let this cook for another 20 to 22 minutes till it's done and then I'll turn the stove off after that it's been around 22 minutes since this has been cooking on low to medium flame which is gas mark 4 so now I'll turn the stove off once I turn the stove off I will let this be as is I'll let it be covered I won't open it for the next 10 to 15 minutes once uh, that time passes by then i'll open it and i will serve it with uh, either raita or a salad so i'll be back after about 10 to 15 minutes and i will show you how the pulao is uh, turned out in 10 minutes since i let the pulao rest and now i will be 
opening this lid be very careful because it is very hot carefully remove the foil you can see it's freshly made and you can see this is freshly cooked and you can see the steam you can see the keema is well mixed with the rice and let's check on the potato i'll just put a knife through and you can see how nicely this potato is also cooked you can see the rice too is has turned out well aloo keema pulao is ready to serve Please comment, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Please click on the bell icon for notification of my latest videos. And thank you for watching. Enjoy.